exercise to do. So firstly, 1990 breeding lads. What you need, basically you need one piece of equipment that's a straw. Um, I'm gonna tell you why in a second, okay? Number two, you need something smallish to support your head, okay? This is to get your spine in a neutral alignment. So firstly, have the athlete or the individual have their feet come up against the wall so that their knee is at 90 degrees and their hips are at 90 degrees. So from there, you can see the perfectly 90 degree angle here. I'm just coming a tiny bit closer here, just an inch, a bit anal about this. Um, and next thing you want something to support the head, something small, put your head back and totally relax. The whole thing about this, guys, is, and bear with me on this, the whole thing about this, guys, is that a lot of people, when they're overhead pressing, or when they're, sorry, not when they're overhead pressing, when they're running, when they're running, their spine, as we talked about, is in this position. You want to be able to lock down your core and your abs so that you're in this position where you have most power and strength in your body so that your shins don't take all the, all the stress. So what you want to do in this position, guys, is firstly cue the athlete to put the straw in the middle, Secondly, what I want you to do is put your hand at the top of your rib cage. So just there, just down below. That's where your diaphragm is controlled. That's what controls, helps control your breathing, okay? The next point of call is I want you to pinch your nose with the other hand. So now their only source of oxygen comes from through the straw. This will then force you to start using your diaphragm. So number three, point three is I am going to try and put my hand underneath here. Jer, don't let me put my hand underneath here, okay? So right now, you're also going to pull down on the ground. Number four is pull here so they engage your hamstrings. So pull down this way. Feel your hamstrings? Yes, tighten up. This will tilt his pelvis up slightly. You don't want this pelvis bone or your coccyx bone coming off the ground. So this is pressed into the ground. Hamstrings are engaged. You also kind of want to squeeze something in between. So if you have like a, a small ball, you can squeeze it lightly. Um, again, I don't have a small ball with me now, but you can imagine he's trying to squeeze the ball. This thing gets his body working as a unit. His hand is here, okay? Jerry, are you struggling there to breathe? No. So what you want to do, Jerry, is you have your hand on your stomach here. I want you to breathe in so the stomach comes up. So you're going to use your diaphragm. You're basically trying to feel your diaphragm working and contracting. This helps you, breathing-wise, to engage your deep core muscles and start using them so that when you're doing the plank, you're actually doing it properly. So here, you can see that Jerry's hand comes up and Jerry's ha hand comes down. If he's really struggling with this, he might only be able to do two repetitions, two or three repetitions. He's breathing in for five seconds, he's breathing out for five seconds, and he's holding with no air for five seconds. Five, four, no air. Three, two, no air. One, breathe in. This is really going to start really tapping into you actually using your breathing and using your deep core muscles. Yeah.